Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Catfish Commentaries. Oh, good lord. We're actually back. Oh, my god. It's gonna be something different. Let me actually have to change something really quick because can I? No, of course not. Well, actually, hold on. No, I can't change your frames for a second. Well, hopefully, it'll look good when it comes to you because I'm shooting at 24 frames a second. Let's restart this. Uh, all right. Welcome back to another Catfish Commentary. I'm actually back. I'm going to try this out and see what happens. This is called... I'm going to get demonetized, aren't I? Kinky Man sends 401k to Romance Scammer in Ghana. Well, we don't get to do our game of if it's Lagos or not. We know it's in Ghana, so let's go. Dates I would propose to her. This man has fallen head over heels for a woman he met online. I wrote up vows to her. My dearest Elaine, please accept this ring as an affirmation under God of my commitment to you. And then it just kind of exploded romantically. Mark and Elaine get steamy through text, but things get difficult. Amazed when she asked for money, 33000 The contract was with Tesla, who was going to reimburse her, but her money ran out. Mark is in deep. He's even sent his retirement account to Elaine. I feel bad that if it's true what she's saying, why is everything on my freaking shoulders? Our team will use Mark's social media accounts to message Elaine and find out the truth about his internet relationship. So I had to act like you on a call. You are one nasty guy, by the way. Oh, sh oh good God. Do we want to read that? I know y'all see it. So I had to act like you on a call. You are one. Yum. I love it. Vanilla. Ouch. Touch when you touch me. Ouch. When you touch me, I don't think ouch is the right word for when you're, when you're doing that stuff. Oh, God. It's okay. So it says, yum. I, I love it. I love vanilla. Ouch. <laughs> when you touch me, it feels like I'm in another galaxy. Oh, Jesus Christ. Which one of you is saying this? I'm hoping it's the freaking Ghana Nigerian or whatever that said that. I slowly move my hand closer and closer to your sensitive zones. Is this Vosh? I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to censor that. Is this Vosh? Vosh? This is some stuff he would write. Closer to your sensitive zones. As you turn over, spread your legs wide for me. I'm getting demonetized. I don't care. We're going to take a hit up on this one. While looking into your eyes, I slowly unzip your pants and take out your, take out your blank. Of course, it's probably his dick. Uh, and slowly start blank it till you're hard. I guess sucking is what that says. Then I lick the bottom of your, I don't know what the, balls? It looks like that's enough space just for balls. And then take the whole thing, and I'm not reading that. <laughs> Taking it in their mouth. Um, I love the way you something me off. Oh, jack me off, I guess. And I will give you soft kisses all over your something while you suck me hard. Maybe I see you in lingerie or, oh, a bikini. Okay. I mean, in ecstasy as you kid. Well, so he's talking like y'all don't know how to role play at all. <laughs> Jesus. It's like a couple of boomers trying to RP, man. Jesus Christ. Um, I mean, in ecstasy as you, as you kiss my whatever and I get wet. <laughs> God, this is the most un, un, uh, uh, unsexy thing I've ever read in my life. I, I am completely flaccid at this point. Um, you are, you will see that in person. My blank, I'm guessing this dick is huge and wet as a, oh my God, that's, that's getting a little too much for me, even me to read. You spread your legs wide and I lick the bottom of your blank, whatever. I guess that, well, I don't know. <laughs> it was so demonetized. I don't care. All the way to your something. Nasty oh, guy, God. Yeah, oh. that is nasty, brother. Did you type that, man, or did he type that? Oh, Hello? Hi, Lane. How are you? Hello. Brianna's going to whoop you up when she sees this. She's going to be like, really? Really? You were sexting somebody in Ghana? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Your engagement with our videos help us reach new audiences and can potentially stop other people from being scammed. All right, team, I just got this new case in. On April 1st, 2024, I met a- Let's see their names again really quick. Drew, or right, Drew is that guy, and then- All right, team, I- I don't know who Sheridan is, but that's a, that's a freaking soap opera name. 
Rianne, I know her, of course. I just got this new case in. On April 1st, 2024, I met Elaine Jones on a dating site. Shortly after we met, she took a job with Tesla, but she ran into additional fees and expenses. I helped her by sending $33,000 over to her via wire transfer. My retirement account has stopped me from sending any more money. This person is breaking my heart. Can you help me verify her, please? Sincerely, Mark. Hi, Catfish, my name is Mark. I just turned 65 earlier this month and I work in a medical field. I had quite a few years volunteering at a wildlife rehab facility, taking care of anything from seals to aquatic birds. Now I'm in my third year home rehabbing opossums. When Mark isn't working as an x-ray tech, he's rehabilitating wild animals. He takes these little creatures into his home for a few weeks, gets them healthy enough to live on their own, and then releases them back into the wild. Probably about three of them that were really anxious to get out, really sweet animals. And you see them all right here, just kind of scurrying around, trying to figure out a way to get out of this thing and kind of running up and down this ramp here and down the wood and stuff. And you could hear them eating. It's kind of cute. Back in 84, 85, when I was in the Navy, I met a lady at a church. We only married about a year, then we divorced. And then my current ex, We've been married like 26 years. Good mom and good person, but she has a, a temperament. The relationship's always been rocky. She's a type A personality. It wasn't been- Beta! That's what it means, that he's a beta, that he can't, he lets her wear the pants and she runs everything. Beta! Passion, you know, we got along. Mark and his second wife split in 2019. The two are now going through a legal situation to separate their assets. And then she attacked me by serving me at work, hiring a lawyer, which I didn't know about. So I had to counteract and hire my guy. And she just bloodthirsty for money. After Mark's wife served him divorce papers, he now lives alone. He came across a few ads online to sites like eHarmony, Match.com, and Christian Mingle. That's when he decided to give online dating a go. I got into online dating from being alone. I would say a companion, my best friend, that's kind of what I was looking for. Mark's had the worst luck with meeting women online. Everyone he's met so far seems to always ask him for money. Let's be real. Everyone has bad luck dating online. I mean, it's, I know it's the new thing and that I get it. I, I get that the dating online is the big thing, but I think you're a lot better off if you meet people through work. Do friends, I mean, do you have friends on Facebook that you can talk to? Family members, functions, church, something. It's just what, like dating, dating sites make it where there's too much avail uh, availability. There's too much like choice. There's too much choice in it. So like, yeah. Two of them, it wasn't a hit. You have no social connection to them. There's no fiber there to keep you together. She can ghost you a lot easier than you know a woman that you know from church i just don't like online dating i did a video about it actually it's because their father passed away and then they got inheritance with gold bars mark never took any of the women that he met on dating sites serious until he met this woman in april of this year that's when everything changed i'm currently dating a lady by the name of elaine jones I met her at Christian Singles. That's about as generic as I've ever heard. Elaine Jones, really? She said, hi, I'm Elaine. Good to meet you. She looks like Tulsi Cabard kind of. No, never mind. Probably 5'10", 160 pounds, short brown hair just over her ears, pointy nose, real prominent cheekbones. She's Australian. That's where she's from. Oh, God. All right. I'm starting to wonder if we should just keep the podcast and do catfish too and just like alternate between self-help advice videos and catfish because literally we're doing the same thing watching catfish reacting to us so maybe we'll just turn this channel into like a love channel or something i don't know but brother if you're if you're from th this is virginia if you're from virginia man what are you doing dating somebody in australia <laughs> i mean you're talking about a 22 hour flight that cost about two grand to go see her. Really? You want to get on a plane for 22 hours? No. Just no. Basically grew up in Virginia. There's about six photos she sent me. There was one that she was in a dress. And then I got a couple pictures of her daughter 
She has a teenage daughter in Florida. She worked with her dad in marine engineering, and I guess her- You live in Australia, your daughter's in Florida. You're talking to this guy from God knows where. Does no one else see a problem with this? Why don't she, why doesn't she have her daughter? Dad had a fleet of ships or something. So we were just texting, getting to know each other constantly, every day. I was really open and upfront with her and I didn't have anything to hide. I told her about my past. She was non-judgmental, real sweet. We were both Christian and she was encouraging me, you know, yeah, I do my morning prayers, my evening prayers, that kind of thing. And we just kind of were just drawing to each other how open and upfront we were. And then it just kind of exploded romantically. There's been a few sexual conversations text-wise, and basically I'm the best thing that came to her. The first time she told me she loved me was probably the middle of May. I didn't feel it was too fast. I had responded positively to my feelings for her. I am physically attracted to her. We talked about her moving in with me sometime this fall with her daughter. All right, Seekers, things moved very fast for Elaine and Mark. The two had began to plan a future together. Mark was ready for this woman to move in with him, and he even prepared to propose to her. I did buy her a ring, and I kind of hinted it to her. Her birthstone is pearl, so I added a pearl to that. And I got a good deal on it. It was supposed to be a commitment ring, but then we were talking about marriage, you know. It was supposed to be. That is one of the ugliest rings I've ever seen. Good God. It's like a granny ring or something. It's pearl, so I added a pearl to that. And I got a good deal on it. It was supposed to be a commitment ring, but then we were talking about marriage, you know. If she ever gets to the States, I would propose to her, and I wrote up vows to her. Okay, vows to Elaine Jones. My dearest Elaine, we only have known each other for only a short time, yet I feel that we knew each other our whole lives. You have extended your love to me and have shown me what unconditional love is. I see you as my best friend, my life companion, and my lover. And Jesus, I hope you're listening, I am extending my commitment of unconditional love and loyalty to you. I am. Here's an idea. Here's an idea. Just follow me on this. I might put up a poll for this one too. Catfish is live. The Vice Channel is the main content, but the catfish, the low cow stuff is a live thing. That way I don't have to edit it and just sit here for like an hour trying to cut out every that I say on here where I don't have to censor myself so bad during these live things. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. You, you get both where I don't have to transfer six months worth of sh to another channel or I could just re-upload all the low cow stuff. I don't even know. See, that's the thing. I'm just all mixed up trying to figure out what to do. I know the, I know the advice videos are the safest bet. Like, you know, they're the safest where I won't get a strike on any of them, but I don't know. We'll see. I might, I might just make a second channel for low cow stuff or no, I could just move. See, this is what I mean. And it's, I keep having to put stuff. Anyway, let's keep going. Committing to stand by you in sickness and in and health and for richer and for poorer all the days of my life. Elaine, please accept this ring as an affirmation under God of my commitment to you of loyalty, love, and respect. Mark Baker. I'll give her a ring. She will live with me for, say, a month or two, and she was mentioned about a small church wedding. She thinks we're one of those unique individuals that we can hook up to this degree in the short amount of time which can happen, and she thinks that we're one of those blessed people that has happened like that. I mean, it's almost too good to be true, but it was a really good feeling to meet somebody that in theory was so accepting and warm and honest and loving, which you don't really find. So that's what drew me to her. Everything was going perfect. Mark was making arrangements for Elaine to move in, and he was extremely excited to meet her and her daughter. However, Things got complicated when Elaine accepted a contract <laughs> overseas. Dark David of Bloated Man's Grotto said, Dearest Mark, she sees you as a pay pig oink. Jesus. Peace. She took this job, this new contract in Japan to oversee production of. She's going the wrong way. <laughs> Seriously, bro. You said that she's for her. All right, she's from Virginia. 
She has a daughter that for some reason is not with her that lives in Florida. She lives in Australia now, but now she's going to Japan, a different country. I thought you were, I thought she was talking about coming back to America to be with you. Why is she going to Japan? We know she's fake. Obviously we've seen the show a billion times. Lithium diode Tesla batteries to be transferred onto a ship that sent back to the States. The contract was with Tesla who is going to reimburse her for the expenses she oh, had, on. plus a lot more after the ship came back to the States. She sent me photos of her business over in Japan. Straight off of Google. That is straight off of Google images. The factory and stuff, and so were the workers. So, to my understanding, the woman that he's talking to works for Tesla? Yeah, apparently she travels and works on the batteries for the Tesla cars. And now she's become this production manager for Tesla batteries. Because she rented the ship, she rented the crew, there's other expenses going on, and now she's basically bankrupt. Technically, her contract should be up even though she hired a ship and crew but she says she's in a contract and there's nothing she can do about it they have to wait for the ship to cross over she didn't really plan that or somebody didn't plan this contract very well but she's in a contract right now and her money ran out may is when she asked for money thirty-three thousand. the thirty-three thousand dollars was for Customs fees for the supplies to get shipped from China to Japan. 33 grand. He just threw away 33 grand. Someone comes to me for $33. You're getting blocked. I pulled money out of my. You know what, man? I need to talk to this guy because I got money in Fidelity and they won't give me my money back. And I'm really irritated about that. And I filed multiple FINRA complaints against them. Fidelity, do not use them. They are garbage. Tire Mac through an old IRA account that I had. Her bank account was closed, so she had me wire the funds to another bank, which belonged to the husband of her personal assistant that she- I didn't even trade the stuff. I literally put, a, I'm not gonna say how much, I put a lot of money at Fidelity, five figures in there, and they just immediately locked my account and won't let me have my money back. She's currently working with over there. Two weeks after that, the, the diodes were made, they were on the ship, but there was a delay in docking fees because it was inconveniencing other ships. And they were looking at $5,000 a day for that ship to sit there. Originally it was 190,000 to 200,000. And then she did some negotiations the last couple of weeks and got it down to 150,000. To pay these docking fees, uh, they basically are just to answer the question in the chat. Blue Twinkies are good. Says, isn't that like illegal, Johnny? Uh, them not giving me my money. Yeah, it is. That's why I've filed multiple complaints against them because I put in the money. I have a bank and I put my money in there from a bank, so it wasn't a check or anything. And I've heard people have had nightmare, uh, nightmare stories about fidelity. Um, appreciate that. Your favorite te uh, mass Texan. The basically I put in five figures into fidelity investments and I was going to buy into the stock market, which I do with a different brokerage now. And they just immediately just locked my account and won't let me get like online access. And every time I call them to withdraw money or to let my money go, they're basically like, well, we're not going to do business with you anymore. And we'll, we'll uh, call us back in three days and we'll transfer it. Then you call back in three days. Well, we can't do it yet. Call back in three days. And Three days turned into three weeks, and now it's been almost a month that I've basically been sitting here trying to fight with them for them to give me my money back. Fidelity and any of these stupid brokerages like Fidelity, they're the biggest brokerage in the world. But yeah, I mean, as soon as you put money in, it's like a Venus flat trap. It's like, and it's gone, and they won't let you have it back. Didn't even invest it. It was cash. The, the money wasn't even settled, and they just immediately locked the account when the stock market took a sh And I guess a bunch of people were trying to back out. And they block, probably locked their accounts too so nobody could, you know, get out of the market when it was collapsing for like a week. Assholes. But they won't give me enough money. They owe, it's, oh, let's put it this way, it's over 10 grand that, that they owe me back. More, a lot more than that. So the ship could leave. But my retirement account blocked that because it was too soon to move funds over to this tailored bank 
From the 33,000 I originally sent her, basically everything's locked down. And I told her that repeat. So Fidelity will let you uh, laundry uh, money schemes. They take away and sell and buy buttons to you. But it's not Fidelity. Pieces of sh man. That's why I went with the local broker. Now we actually know the guy that runs the sh You know, and they've, been, they've been around for like over 100 years. Like they're, you know, legit. More legit than Fidelity. I mean, they have it where you literally have to call your broker and say, hey, send me my money, you know, and they'll do it, you know, without any problem. But like they make it where like someone can't, you know, just hack into your account and steal it. That, that's how this brokerage works. So I, I basically just call them and say, hey, buy X amount of, you know, ETF, whatever, I, you know, VOO is what I always go with, but whatever amount of this amount of money in VOO and they'll be like, all right, let us do it. And that's it. And they just have someone else handle it for me where I don't have, you know, there's no way for them to steal, anyone to steal it. Repeatedly. There's nothing I can do. Mark was doing everything. Did that because Fidel me over. Everything he could to get Elaine out of that contract. But his retirement fund blocked him from sending $150,000. But Elaine would soon have another request. She How the are they going to block you? I'm getting mad about something else entirely. This isn't even going to end up being an uh, independent video anyway, but. How the f are they going to tell you what you can do with your money? That's your money. They take the fee. They're not supposed to take the money. Good old school. I use a bank. Cost $10 a transaction to do deals. I know the uh, shares are mine. Exactly. Exactly. I got, I mean, I got, you know, I, I use a bank that lets me do that now, you know, active brokerage and all that. But I was going with Fidelity because they're supposed to be like the biggest one in the country and immediately they like my then held it hostage for over a month and i've sent them fenra complaints and sec complaints and they're just like oh well we're we're not done we're not done with it yet we're not done we're doing something you know leave us alone kind of thing it's like you needed a small i've even got it to the point where i contacted my lawyer and he was like all right how much did you put in there and what what why are they what are they saying and i told him he hasn't got back to me yet i don't know he's probably gonna say something like the lemonade worth the squeeze but plane ticket she mentioned that she wanted to come home and see her family because she's been over there a month. She wanted me to send cash because her agent, supposedly her travel agency only accepts cash. And I said, no, I'll buy your freaking ticket, which I did. So then I sent the itinerary to her email and then uh, she was supposed to fly out yesterday at four in the afternoon. And she got all her baggage, all 200 pounds, actually on the plane. They called for the boarding. She showed her passport and her uh, ticket, and customs detained her and said, no, you're not going anywhere. You owe the government. So she's stuck. I sent her 33,000 plus another 4,000 for the air ticket. It's about 37,000. Out $37,000 and Elaine still stuck overseas, Mark is feeling pressured financially and is desperate for answers. See, I owe my ex 400000 on the divorce settlement, plus paying Elaine another 150. But I feel bad that if it's true what she's saying, she's got a daughter in Florida, she's stranded in Japan. Why is everything on my freaking shoulders? Basically, it's not, if I don't cough up. It's not, walk away from the car. <laughs> It's not your problem. It's not your wife. It's not your kid. This 150,000. She's never going to get home. All right, Seekers. It's clear Mark needed some help, so the team got together to discuss this case. Okay, so Sheridan, we need to look at all the information that Mark had sent over to us. Elaine claims that she works for Tesla, so we have contracts that she sent to Mark. We have a bunch of images of her working in a warehouse. We also have images of her daughter, her driver's license, her email, and also a ton of images of who she claims to be. Yeah, we got a lot to work with. So I'm gonna look into these factory images and see what's going on here. I'm gonna use our website to reverse image search it. So I was looking at this image and right off the bat, I was thinking, I'm not even sure what I'm looking at. It doesn't seem like it could be a battery to a Tesla. Something that stuck out to me is it doesn't look like a Tesla factory because I've seen Tesla factories and they have a much more open layout. So let's look at this IOU agreement. Starting at the beginning, Mark did send Elaine $33,000. Supposedly, Elaine had sent this over to Mark, signing it, stating that she will repay him for the money that she had borrowed from him. So 
I'm gonna run a quick search just to see if I can find any matches for this. Okay. While the research team started to break down Elaine's story, David saw an opportunity to scam bait. So I got started by accessing Mark's Skype account to communicate with Elaine. In order to find out who was behind this Elaine profile, David decided to use his banking site. David built this website with one thing in mind, to trick scammers into enabling their audio and video and uploading identifications. We told Elaine that Mark moved his 401k into this banking site and we provided screenshots as proof. As a backup plan, if we couldn't get the scammer to create an account, we would give him access to Mark's account, which would also give us access to the scammer's audio and video. After about a week of chatting and going back and forth with Elaine, we were finally able to get her on a call. David would then hop on a call pretending to be Mark to execute our game plan. All right, so as I'm going through the chats, because I need to brief David on how he's going to approach and, and speak to Elaine. I noticed that they talk about sex pretty much 90% of the time. They're sending photos of each other back and forth. The messages and images sent back and forth between Elaine and Mark were just way too steamy. If we showed you all of these messages, YouTube would probably delete our video. But things got pretty wild. Let's go grab David. Stick around until the end, Seekers. We're gonna sit down with Mark and reveal David's call with Elaine. Mark? Yeah. So, I wanna hold your <laughs> <laughs> If you like this video- What did she say? <laughs> Mark, I wanna hold your cock. <laughs> Jesus. Video, please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, give this video a like too. If you're looking to contact us and you think you might need our help finding out who you're communicating with online, or maybe you need help breaking through to a friend or a family member, don't hesitate to reach out to our email, share my story at socialcatfish.com. We can help you find the answers you've been looking for. Hey Mark, are you ready for today? I'm a little nervous, but I'm ready. I just want this to be resolved so I can get on with my life one way or the other. So Mark, what do you think we found? Hopefully found out if Elaine is real and what her story is, if she's stranded in Japan because of a business opportunity that went belly up. We're gonna open the floodgates for you right now. Nice. And I have a phone call with this person. She picked up? I, I had a 26 minute conversation with this person. Oh my God, whoa. We, we want you to walk away from this with all your questions answered, right? I think we have enough information to basically give you closure today. Uh, I'll let Brian get started. So you sent us a bunch of invoices. Oh, well, one of it was the customs fees to get the supplies from China to Japan. Then there was another one with the port fees. And there was one that says Tesla at the top in red, but it, I, I had a hard time even looking at that. It was kind of blurry. And she sent an IOU, and she was gonna pay me, what, the first week of August, I think? Yeah, so with the invoice itself, we noticed some red flags, and one of them being the address. So this is supposedly an invoice coming out of Japan Customs, and the address does not match. Why would she send you a Japan Customs invoice coming out of a hotel? Well, I thought it was just that that's the only address that customs had of her and they had to put that, they had to document that somewhere. So there's no contact information for Japan Customs either. Oh, they should have a contact information from them. Brian looked through all the documents, Mark, and none of the documents that you had sent over were legitimate documents. There were issues with all the documents that you sent over. So why do you think she would send you fake documents? Because I, I don't know how the shipping industry works. It's all new to me. And if I didn't know any better, I would just believe it. If you look at every conversation you've had with her, including the conversation I've personally had, everything went back to, why can't you send the money? Do you not love me? Here's the contract, send me money. Here's the pictures, send me money. Do you see the theme here? And it got more intense in the last couple of weeks. Because they think there's $200,000 sitting in one of our fake bank accounts. Oh, so she probably didn't even talk to the port people, she just knocked it the price down from 200 down to 150 to see if I would bite. She definitely didn't talk to the poor people. No, no, no. It's in, and something else I noticed in your chats with her is that you were mentioning your retirement savings and things like that. I know. 
And so you flash that around and this person knows or has an idea that you may have some money tucked away. Well, I didn't know. I wonder how she would have learned that. I thought we had a relationship going. I was just trying to be up front with her to see about going forward. You sent over a bunch of images. There's one with Tesla warehouse. There's also another one where- <laughs> Leo in the chat. So he was trying to date DSP, send me money. I mean, it looks like a, a scene from Breaking Bad. That's the lithium chloride stuff that they mine there to go into the batteries. It's a lithium factory in Bolivia where the picture was taken. Oh, that's from Bolivia. Oh my God. Where's that, South America somewhere? Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's right next to Japan and just, uh, you know, and, and Australia. All that stuff is right there next to, you know, Seychelles or whatever. You know, India. They're all in the same area. I'm going to be honest with you. We found matches for every single picture you sent over. There's one, there's a picture you sent over of the CAT scan. And was this supposed to be? She has a 13 year old kid daughter in Florida that she left behind to go overseas. She gave me a picture of this doll. I don't know if you saw that. It's a voodoo doll. And it said, happy birthday, Mark. That's something that a four year old would make, not a 13 year old. So apparently she broke her leg. I'm an x-ray tech. I, I know really, you know, what's going on, but supposedly she broke her tibia. Okay. She just needs a cast, right? No, she's going to need surgery and I don't have any medical insurance. Do you want to know where that picture comes from? Oh yeah. Yeah. I like to know where that came from. Yeah. We actually found an image match from a random Instagram profile. It was titled pray for Camila. And so it was a young girl that's been diagnosed with stage four cancer. And so we also had music though in the background. They went from like Chrono Trigger in the background and like Resident Evil save room music to just like an ominous, just like a single note that just keeps playing. We looked at the driver's license. Yep. And so we were able to confirm that the address, it's indeed from an apartment complex, but you also mentioned that she didn't even put the apartment number on her driver's license. I don't know what DMV would issue that if it's incomplete address. They wouldn't. Yeah. 100%. They would not do it. Oh, really? Ready? Yeah. Let's, uh, let's reveal the real person, Mark. I think you know where this is going, right? Uh-huh. So Brianne and the research team, they were able to find the real person in the images. So Junior's going to show you that person and I'll let Brianne walk you through. Oh, I'm looking at that. Okay. We were able to confirm that the real person in this image, her name is Claire. I, I, I've accidentally paused. They didn't do that for dramatic effect. I'm sorry. Huh. Claire is a model and she has a ton of images on stock, stock photo websites. She also has a few different profiles. And so that's what Claire does for a living. She goes and she has people take pictures of her face, smiling, pointing, doing all these things. And people buy them and they put them up on websites and put them on brochures and that's where all her images are. But it's not necessarily stolen images? What we're trying to say, Mark, is you've been involved in an online romance scam. The person that you're talking to under the name Elaine does not exist. She stole the pictures from Claire's profiles and her modeling portfolios and has been using them under the profile Elaine to talk to you and scam you. Brienne said she, but we think it's actually they. I don't understand. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm gonna help you. The person that's, that's uh, scamming you is non-binary. We gotta make sure we use they, them pronouns from now on so we don't get struck by YouTube. Do you understand? You said you had a hard time getting a driver's license from this person, right? Well, within about half an hour, and she finally sent it to me. So with our fake banking website, we had no trouble getting two driver's licenses, not just one. We were able to get this person to log in and before we did that, Drew and I was able to get this Elaine person on a phone call. Hello. Hi, Elaine. How are you? Hello, Mark. Yeah. Oh, my God. Am I really talking to you? Mark? Yeah. You put me in a situation. I just want to say that. So I had to act like... <laughs> She's just like, oh, yeah, he's in the doghouse 100%. He is not getting in my bed for the next two weeks after I saw that footage. He was getting too into it with that, that, that thing on the other side of the computer and get the words out. 
like you on a call. You are one nasty guy, by the way. Oh, sh She started it. David whispered sweet nothings into her ear. First of all, what are you wearing? Mark, did, did you ask what I was wearing? Hell yeah, I asked what you're wearing. I'm just, I'm just in my nighty. Oh, I, I can wear whatever you want me to wear, baby. All right, look, if you're dating somebody and you're on a call with them over Skype, and they won't turn their camera on, there's a problem. I'm just saying, you shouldn't have to ask what they're wearing. They should just, you know, be on camera so you can see it. In order to act like you on a call, I had to sexy myself up a little bit. And so I said a lot of things that oh, I had she, to oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that face. She, <laughs> she is just, oh yeah, oh yeah, keep digging that hole. <laughs> he just knows he's in trouble too my mouth out for a little bit and so i said a lot of things that i had to wash my mouth out for <laughs> and apologize to my wife for he said he ain't been in that band in about a week hello mark yeah why'd you hang up the call the call just dropped oh i won't talk dirty do you not like me talking dirty to you no, uh i do but it depends depends on what you got all nasty in the in our conversations all hot and wild <laughs> am i making you blush be honest am i making you blush you are but i know why does she sound like she's from ohio we have other issues to solve okay let's get serious about the money we came into this conversation with a one of two goals to get them to sign up for a fake banking website or to get them to log into our banking website yeah, why can't, why can't we just use my bank site? I don't understand. I'm really confused. You need to send the money to the bank details I gave you earlier. But I know, but why can't we just use the bank? So when Fidelity tried to transfer the money, they told me not to do that. And when Fidelity tried to transfer my money, they told me to go for myself. And so they transferred, they were willing to transfer the money only into my bank account. I already sent the money to you so i did a peer-to-peer -peer transfer i sent the money you got it in your email all you have to do is transfer it over and then you can do whatever you need to do and then we can see each other we can do all sorts of kinky stuff like we talked about mm -hmm. does that make so, you excited so right now we could you could send it from your account to the bank details i gave you i transferred the money to you all you have to do is accept the transfer and then you put your bank details. That's how it works. After that, the rails came off. Why are you all shy right now? Well, what do you want me to say? What? Oh, you had tons to say the other day. <laughs> so now you're trying to act shy? <laughs> Mark? <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, you know I love it. You know I love it. So, I wanna hold your <laughs> while you <laughs> He did the Metal Gear Solid fucking... He did the Metal Gear Solid noise. What did she say? So, I wanna hold your <laughs> while you had... While you kick my neck and you touch my glutes. <laughs> Jerusalem's like, what the fuck did she just say? What did she say? Did she say I wanna hold your balls? What did, what did she say that freaked him out that bad? Trying to think what that what someone could do to like I want to hold something that'll make you freak out like that. I guess it would have to be your cock. I don't know what else it could be. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? <laughs> just so stupid. I'm shy. You are shy. I just want to smack that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was overly aggressive. She. I did <laughs> Look at that face. She's so pissed off. Yeah, she was over. Look at Brienne's face. She's just like, I swear I smacked him. And I just, he is not getting in this bed for the next month. Really aggressive. She, I did feel a little uncomfortable and I did feel taken advantage of by the end of the call. Oh. All for the sake of you, Mark, to get answers for you. Thank you. I, I, I love your humor so much. Oh my God. I'm so funny. I love your smile too. Oh, I do have a good smile. <laughs> and 
for us to move on in life. Oh, I want to move on so bad in life with you. You have um, no clue, girl. I want us to move forward. I want us to be happy together. I want to take you places that you've never been before. Like America? Please, please. Just follow the instructions, please. <laughs> He just keeps like, please just follow the instructions. It's like, he's trying to get frisky and she's just like, nah, just send the money. I mean, with a whore, at least you get something out of it. Which naked picture is your favorite naked picture of mine? So the one you sent to me over your Oh, Oh, All of a sudden you hear Brianna in the background. You don't <laughs> <laughs> I bet I scared the twins with that one. <laughs> Just, I was waiting for that too. That's my favorite. Oh my God. One thing that when we are on the call is this person kept hitting the mute button over and over. And so what that makes us believe is like while we were talking to them, somebody, a third party was coaching them through the conversation. And why do you keep muting your mic? Just full of instructions, Mark. Cause I wanna come home. I know who you're talking to. Who am I talking to? I'm talking to you. I know, but you keep muting your mic. Why are you muting your mic? Talking to the quote unquote she. So the this girl, this female voice that you hear is actually not the person that's fully behind the scam. This is the person that just was there to talk to me to get me to use Elaine. I'm I'm actually I'm actually dead. Serious. I'm not sending you the money. To, I'm just not doing it. I'm telling you right now. Okay. If if you want to log into my account and 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 try to make the transfer, that's fine. But I'm I'm done being a monkey and going all over the place and and sending you money all these crazy ways. I don't I don't feel good about it. Seriously, I'm I'm actually like, I know I joke around a lot, but I'm actually being really serious right now. Okay. You disconnect. Click up. So. So you could you could send me the login for your account? Yeah, if, if that makes you feel better. And so what happened is, is they got greedy at the end and said, you know what? You can just log into my account and you transfer the money. And they got super excited about it. Um, what's your email? Yeah, you should text it to me. Okay, I'll text it to you right now, hold on. And then my password? Okay, Mark. I have to go. So you should you should send me the login. All right. Text, you're, text it to me. You pro like seriously, this is like my bank account login. You're not gonna do anything weird, are you? No. Okay, I'll send you the logins right now. Okay. Bye. Alright, love you. Oh I didn't even get one back. We set her up. We set her up. We set her up. So you'll give me the login? Uh, I guess so, yeah. Sure, I'll give you the login. Because that's exactly what we wanted you to say. <laughs> and what happened two days ago is we had two- Just noticed that one of his eyes is a different color than the other one. I don't know if that affects his vision or anything, but kind of cool. One's brown, one's like blue. People sign up for the fake banking website. One person from the UK and one person from Virginia. These people are involved in the scam and we got their pictures. Where's he from? He's from the UK. And this lady here is from Virginia? Virginia. Virginia. Do you want to know how they're connected? Yeah. We did some research on both of them and they're both linked to Accra, Ghana. Which is what now? Ghana, so it's a country in, in Africa. Is that Nigeria or somewhere else? No, it's no, somewhere it's, else. Yeah, it's a different it's country. It's close to it. Yeah. But... Oh, this lady doesn't even look attractive. It's like barf. That's who you're what? sending your wiener pics to, Mark. <laughs> Yo, that woman's not even attractive. I was about to say something, and then he says, that's what you say your dick pics to. <laughs> Yo. Oh, for God's sakes. Oh, I normally not like this. You know, I am a Christian. You know, I'm sorry. They got to do it. There's nothing in the Bible that says thou shalt not send dick pic. People enjoy it, I guess. Don't hold it to me. <laughs> I don't mean anything bad. 
so here's where we're going to go with this. Jesus. We have two leads. We have these oh two people. God. We have their real driver's license. We know 100% that they... Yo, hello? <laughs> That's what he really was talking to. With somebody that probably did sound like that with that voice changer. Provided their real driver's license, their real... Uh, address. I forgot how fun these actually were. I really did. I got so tired of doing these. Took four months off. I forgot how funny these could be. Press their real names, and their real phone numbers. These two black people? Whoa. Oh my God, don't do it, don't do it. Don't drop the N word, don't do it. I just I just got rid of my strikes, don't do it, man. Don't, don't get my channel a strike again. Please censor out whatever the next word he's gonna say. Just please. I'm, sorry. I'm just trying to get the people straight in my mind. What There's the only two of them and they're both black. What do you mean trying to get them straight? One's a woman, one's a man. Uh, Taylor Bank and and Mr. I mean, that bank's in Maryland. We looked into John. He actually does live at that residence where you had transferred the funds. So that's actually a valid address. John most likely has been hearing a completely different story, possibly talking to someone online and has heard a story of, as to why he should be receiving funds. And so we need to talk to him and see what he knows. Okay, we'll just go back to doing this content. I'll put all the, I'll put all the podcast stuff on the separate channel. I've already got a separate channel hooked up and it has like half the stuff there already. So I just got to transfer the other half and then nuke y'all's inbox one good time to get everything back on here. I think I got most of the catfish stuff. I don't know. I think some of it might have got lost, but I don't think it's going to be a big deal regardless. Um, let me see real quick. Um, if I have it in cold storage, I have, I mean, I have drives all over the place, but I don't know. I mean, I've got most of my backed up, but I don't know if all the, there's a lot of catfish that got, went missing during one of the backups and a drive died that had catfish on it and all that. So I, I don't know. We'll have to just see what we got. Um, how much do I have in here? 185 videos so that, well, there's a lot of shit in here. I had to dig around and see what I got in all these different folders, but that's all the Falco stuff. That's already up on a different channel. Decap is right there. You can't upload the to catch predator stuff because I'll get banned for sure. If I put that up, unfortunately, is boogie on the, in this folder too. Does that say bender? That's bender. Boogie defended sniper with boogie calls Dez light. There's some stuff in this one. I don't know. I have to look through these folders. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to be missing a lot of the catfish episodes. I thought I had them on a separate drive somewhere out there in the ether, but I probably do. I'll eventually find them. And if this is, if he's talking to the same person that you're talking to, which person you think is holding the money right now? So we think the money, the money most likely went overseas. Mm -hmm. So we're waiting the person that you wire transfer the money to, we're waiting to contact them and mm -hmm. until we get the rest of the stuff, because we don't want to spoil it. And this Claire person, what's her story? I know she does that. She has nothing to do with this. She has nothing to do with this. She is completely innocent and just a victim of someone stealing her images. Oh, okay. And she's wherever she lives at and she has her life. She has her life. She doesn't know about you. She doesn't know that this happened. She has no clue. So it didn't happen. So there's, there is no person in Japan that's stranded. This is all fake. No, Every, fake story. Everything is fake. You've, fake. you've literally lived a, a movie. That's literally what you've lived through. And so the person behind all the texts is these, this lady from Virginia and the, these two black individuals. They're behind all the texting. Why do you well, have to make it a point, man? Why you gotta keep going? These two black individuals. Why do you gotta do it like that, man? Like, <laughs> It's just so much contempt when he, these two black individuals, <laughs> Jesus, bro, quit. We don't know who's behind the texting. We don't know. It could be anybody. Yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll get you the rest of the answers, but you do know that a hundred percent of this is fiction. It's not real. Mm -hmm. The documents that you've been given are not real. The daughter that you were talking to, there's no daughter. Everything is fake. There no is daughter. no bathroom. <laughs> There's no daughter, there's no woman, there's no bathroom. No daughter. Gotcha. Well, when I go to Texas to see my sister, there's a lot. It's right there in a, a church belt. It's in Georgetown, just outside of Austin. And so I'm going to have tons of opportunities down there. Go get it, Mark. Sounds and good. And continue my work with the opossums. <laughs>
I thought I, I thought I would have a very unique uh, story for you guys that say, hey man, this ought to go in the highlights. You know, this is so unique. I think you're the unique um, person, Mark. It is unique. You are unique. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. We will follow up with you um, once we finalize some of the other stuff. Hopefully, we can go get to the point where we have an arrest, where we can get law enforcement out to this person's house. Um, we'll follow up with you this week to let you know how that's going. All right, appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for your time, Mark. Have a good thank rest you. of your day. You too. Okay. All right, bye, Mark. Bye-bye. But wait, we're not done, Seekers. One of the IDs we pulled from the banking website is a US ID. We thought we could take this further and gave a call to our friend IRL Rosie to help us confront Mark Scammer. And we knew she'd be perfect for this. IRL Rosie, the name real life Rosie, is a scam baiter, clocking up more than 120 million views. She was able to find a TikTok tied to Sharon, and their laugh sounds identical. <laughs> Seriously, you went with this, that's scary. You have a woman, this IRL Rosie woman, who can literally match someone's laugh. Like their laugh got them doxxed. How is that? Like, just how, how did you pull that off? <laughs> After Rosie was able to tie this. If you ask me what Nico's laugh said, I don't remember actually. Well, it's been like months, but I, like I could not identify any of my ex's laughs like at all. Like I don't remember. TikTok account to Sharon. She gave her a call from Mark's Skype account. Okay, guys, we're diving in. I am logged into Mark's Skype account and we are going to call Elaine as the jealous girlfriend to get her to talk oh, and see boy. what's going on because I am not happy about this. Skype says that she's active now, so we are going to call one more time and see if she answers. Here we go. Hello? Hello? Your hello? hello? Who is this? Yeah, who is this to? Who's this? Uh, my name's Amanda. I'm just calling to see you. Um, okay, so <laughs> I'm not trying to be confusing or anything. Um, it's kind of creepy how she can just like turn on the sadness and she can literally voice act like she's crying and upset about her boyfriend. That, that's creepy, man, that women can do that. I just, I'm wondering how you know Mark. <laughs> hello? Yo, hello? Yeah, hello? I'm here. Hello, um, I want to talk to Mark. Um, yeah, I'm just wondering how you guys know each other, actually. Could you please put him through? Um, he's not available to speak right now. He's actually in the hospital. Um, what's wrong with him? Um, he has... Is he fine? Um, well... He has hemorrhoids! Well, he has got, uh, like, COVID pretty bad, um, and I... Sorry, I'm just really shaken up. He was really pushing out a turd really hard and like he blew himself out. I am on his computer to help him pay like bills and stuff. Um, and he and I have been together for about three months. Um, and I am on his computer and came across messages between you guys. And I'm just wondering, I'm just wondering who you are because I don't want him to be like cheating on me or something. <laughs> Can you just explain who you are? I'm not mad at you. I'm just like, like, I'm, I'm not upset with you. I'm just, I'm just curious how you guys know each other. Mark, where's Mark? Mark's in where's the hospital. He? He's in the hospital and he's very ill. So I'm home at his place right now and I'm helping him pay bills on his computer. Uh, and that's when I saw on Skype uh, that he's been messaging. Uh, I'm sorry. Hello. Can you just tell me how you guys know each other? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you got to up. <laughs> oh my god. We'll see if she calls back. Yo, hello? Y'all need to stop calling this phone. How many times did I tell y'all? Stop calling this phone. How do y'all call this phone? <laughs> I haven't done that in forever. Hello? <laughs> um, when, when are you going to go to the hospital to see Mark? Um, I'm probably gonna go tonight, but, um, I'm just, can you please just tell me who you are? I'm not mad at you. I'm just, like, curious. We've been together for the last, like, two months or so, and, um, I'm just, like, I'm shaking because I don't, I'm just, like, worried he's cheating or I don't really know who you are. You worried about him cheating three months in. You, you got some problems. You need to dump this man. I'm just saying. 
Again, I'm not Amanda, mad. Amanda, I get you. I get you, but I'd like to speak to Mark before I can give you any answers. Okay, well, I just, I just want to know how, like, how you guys met. Like, I'm do you not, live here? I'm, like, <sighs> don't, don't worry about it. Just let me talk to Mark. And don't I'll worry about it. To you. <laughs> And so I'm at, I'm going to work now. So when I get off work, I'm going to call you so we talk. Okay, are you going to go do hair? Are you going to go do hair or something? Or is that your sister? Uh, no. Which no. one of you does hair? I don't do hair. I, Wait, uh, is, is this Sharon? So is this Sharon or? No. Are you sure? This is Elaine. What? I'm sure. I'm sure. It's Elaine. Oh, I know, but this is Sharon that I'm talking to, right? I'm um, right, so we talk. Huh? Because I've got work to go to. Okay, like more scam, like more scamming. I'm, like, I'm going to call you after work, so we talk. Well, what do you mean work? I've like I've got work to attend. What do you What do you mean work? Like more scamming people, or like what? We what? I'm just asking, like, what you consider work. Like, is it, like, the scamming being, thing, or why are you, you being rude? do you not make enough what money? What do you mean? Do you guys not make enough money with, like, all the others, like, with this scam, or is it, like, other ones? What are you saying? Oh, I'm just asking about, like, the scamming thing. I'm just, I'm just curious about it. Oh, I feel I'm being, I'm under, I really feel that I'm being disrespected right now, so when you get through to Mac, let me know, and I'll talk to you later. <laughs> I don't know why she gave up the sting. That's, why did she do that? Like you had her on the hook. <laughs> that didn't. Scam that baby. didn't do. What, what, what is it? Drew Sims for her or something? Like what the fuck is? It? That added nothing. That did nothing for the video. Hello. What the? That didn't prove anything. Where's this whole? Aren't y'all gonna get her on camera or whatever the? F didn't they say that earlier? That's what I've been waiting for the whole time is for them to get this person on camera. Was a success. We now have two people's IDs, home addresses, emails. IP addresses, phone information, this woman's TikTok account, and audio of the scammer. This is enough to hand over to law enforcement to close this case. What's going on, Mark? I released 20 opossums last Saturday night, and I, I think I talked briefly with Brienne. She goes on a text, do you have any kids? And I go, opossums or human? <laughs> Potato, potato. Is it possum or opossum? What's the official? Opossum. So 100% of the time, it's opossum here in the U.S. Yes. You learn something every day. <laughs> so we want to quickly give you an update. We have some fantastic news for you, Mark. Yay. We were able to get the scammer, not just the scammer to log into the fake banking website, but um, we were collaboratively able to get two other people to log in and upload their IDs. And so when they upload their ID, we literally have a home address, we have their email address, we have a, their cell phone numbers. And then one of them, Elaine, we were able to get on a call and we were have right. uh, Rosie who does voices get on another call and we were able to match up audio and we think they're the same person. We're gonna hand all this over to law enforcement. We should be able to close your case, Mark. He's having sweet, a seizure. Sweet. So just so you know, next steps, um, we are going to go to Maryland. We're going to go to Virginia where the person uploaded their ID. Where the f is the webcam video? The whole point of this was that y'all were going to show up some thing where you turn on the scammer's camera while you're talking to him. What the f happened to that? We're even going to go to the UK and confront this Derek guy. So basically you got fake two fake IDs and you think you guys, oh my God, people, that was a waste of 45 minutes. Oh my God, you guys are so awesome. Thank you so, so very much. I owe you my life. <laughs> no, you don't owe us your life. <laughs> Just don't I, get I know what I, I saw. What the oh, oh God, no, no. I'm glad we were able to help you out, Mark. We're gonna move forward with this. We should be able to get you some closure. Thank you so much for working with us. And then we'll keep you updated, you know, when we find anything out from law enforcement, okay? Oh, perfect. Thank you so much, guys. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, good luck. <laughs> All right, Mark. Talk All, right. All right, take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Tune into our live stream. What a rip. Where was the hell was the thing where they turned on the webcam? They didn't do it. All right. I'm going to go get me some. I'm going to go get some lunch. These people are like, 
the cut uh they just need your ids to convict and arrest yeah that's that, that this whole episode was bad if you ask me but whatever all right i'm gonna go get me some food and i will probably start re-uploading some of the stuff if I, the stuff that won't get striked anyway i'll see if i can find the catfish series it's whatever i can, can find it and download it i don't know if i even have it it's probably spread across multiple different cloud drives all right um otherwise i'll see you next time see ya